It's part three, our final breakdown of chess movie scene pass or fail. Please hit that subscribe button before you go anywhere else. Enjoy the video. Chess scene from Blazing Saddles, the Waco Kid. Play chess. Screw. Gene Wilder. Well, let's play chess. Okay. What? Checkmate. That's not checkmate. What? That's checkmate. not checkmate. Well, you devious hey. son of a bitch. But that is a glass of scotch. Happy days. And uh, apparently Gene Wilder doesn't mind if he does. Moving on. Fail. Can't believe I'm saying this, but chess scene from Star Wars. Yeah, that's not chess. What are we doing here? Although, let, let's let's play along. Would that ever be a future version of chess? Now be careful, R2. I'm gonna guess no. That's not a thing that happens with chess in the future. Wait. Is this Star Wars in the past, a long time ago in a galaxy? Screaming about to come uh, I'm confused. Let's move on. Chess scene from Jerry's game. I think I've seen this one before. White on the right. King on the right square. We have liftoff. Let's play some chess. Double king pawns is the right way to play, especially when you're playing yourself. Okay, F3. Not the best move. Great move there from... Whoever's playing black looks like Jerry to me. Okay, that was that was kind of a visual incorrectness, the way he moved the bishop there. The bishop moved very straight. That looked legal. It was knight a3. Okay, the bishop is on a good square there. E2, I can see. All right. It passes, but it didn't look like he moved it appropriately. Feels like Jerry's opponent's a real jerk. Oh, uh, yeah. Poor Jerry. Okay, so now we have a check. That was important. There was a check... On the board, the king is under attack. Oh, he says, no, that's actually correct. The knight on f4 guards g2. That's incorrect. You can't go to f1 from what I saw. Okay, it seems like Jerry has finally met the wall. But king f1 was the only legal move, as far as I could tell. I didn't see any reason, unless that bishop right there is guarding it in some weird way, but I don't think so. I think that's that might be the first chess mistake Jerry made here. I think we're pretty confident. Yeah, okay, that just confirms it. F1 is a, is a safe square. It is available. But regardless of my chess critiques, clearly this is a great, a great short. And obviously, obviously Jerry goes full. Flip the board. Classic Bobby Fischer, right? Flip the board when your opponent's not looking. The best chess move in the book. Come on, Jerry. I don't remember the ending. Don't let me down. You've already won. You flip the board. No, it's white to move. He flips the board and gets to move twice. Okay, at the very least, I can say the final position, while impossible to have been reached, is legal. It is possible to have both the check by the queen and the bishop there on d4, but reaching that position, I don't think is legally possible. Yeah, I don't think that's a legal position to reach, because there's no way white couldn't have been check before the queen moved to e1. So as much as I'm going to disappoint Pixar and all the fans out there, I'm giving old Jerry his teeth back. I'm giving him a thumbs down because we deserved a better ending for how brilliant that was there for them to end with an impossible version of Checkmate. Shame on you, Jerry. Shame on you. Chess scene from, from Russia with love. Let's go, James. Well. First of all, you got to love Venice. Venice International Grand Masters Championship. That's probably what you would never call a tournament. <laughs> okay, but that looks quickly like a very legal position and White has pressure on the long A to G8 diagonal with a discovered check coming. Okay, checks out so far. As does the cigarette. Knight takes E5 with discovered check. There's Check. a bishop on the diagonal, which I can spy in the background, and I saw it on the devil board. Right, it takes bishop. Leave it to James Bond to get chess right, am I right? right so where are we going to head from here? Is this a forced win already? King moves, h8. Okay. We may have to analyze this one at chess.com and uh, give you guys a link for it. 
I'm not quite sure. I am. I am sure that I'm. I would appreciate if I could ever play chess, and someone would bring me a glass of that. If you know what I'm talking about. Oh, he's. Oh, he thinks it's poisoned. No, he doesn't. He does. Ah, oh, it had a message in it. So he's got to wrap up winning a chess tournament, classic Bond. Winning Grandmaster Chess Tournaments on the weekend. King to Rook 2. King to Rook 2. Queen E4. And he resigns. Queen to King 4. Queen. Or does he? To King 4. If King H8, we have Rook takes F8 and then Knight G6 check. And if G6, I assume we have Rook F7 check. Just like that. Wow. Golf clap for Mr. Sir. Bond. James Bond. Move. Big thumbs up. Chess scene from History of the World. Another one I've never it's seen. Your move, your majesty. Mel Brooks. What was with... Uh, I don't worry. Okay. I'm going to go there. Okay, that, that looks See. inappropriate. A lot of short people. Knight Mel Brooks. to Rook Four. Okay. <laughs> that that is pawn to Rook. That is Rook Go Four. Pop and Jay. Yes. Oh. Oh. Pull purple whistle. What the hell did you what? say? Pull purple whistle. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. Pawn threatens bishop. All right, Pop and Jay. I'm invoking the king's privilege. All Three right. moves to one. Yes. I'm going to have to give this a thumbs down because I have a little bit of integrity left in me as a chess player. But I will say that I'm going to check out this History of the World movie by Mel Brooks very, very soon. Like We can't get this one off scene fast enough. Chess scene from Blade Runner. Your opponent. Oh, Dr. Terrell? I've only beaten him once in chess. This is going to be one of those Star Wars genius. chess analysis where... He designed you. Looks pretty futuristic. Maybe he could help. I'd be happy to mention it to him. Sure. Better if I talk to him in person. What can I do Someone for Someone tells me that guy's up to no good. Queen to bishop six check. Queen to bishop six check. Okay, that's descriptive notation, but checks out the possible move. How have I never seen Blade Runner? Queen. One of those, like I said, pretty impossible to put this chess master on. Queen to bishop six, but okay, that is, in theory, the F or C file, depending whether that's black or white. So. Still passing grade. It's on your mind, Sebastian. What are you thinking about? Bishop to King Seven, check. Bishop to King Seven, checkmate. I think. Mm -hmm. Got a brainstorm, huh, Sebastian? Milk and cookies kept you away, huh? Let's discuss this. You better come up, Sebastian. I don't quite know what's happening here. I feel like a lot of you have seen Blade Runner and I haven't, so I'm gonna watch this movie and get back to you about whether or not this one passes or fails, because I am intrigued. Chess scene from Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. That's a pretty cool clock, I'll tell you that. Okay, that looks legit. Was that A4 or C4? If that was C4, that's a legit move. It's also dynamite. Oh, boom. Good. Okay, looks like... We both have two bishops. Wait, but if it was C4, Only wouldn't I have seen another white pawn there? But my methods are not... I hope it didn't go pull, full pawn process. sacrifice and move an A pawn or H pawn. That doesn't seem fair. But I think that looked like C4. And it looked like a legitimate response. Right. Queen, Surgery queen pawns up, stuff. right? By Mr. Holmes himself. We'll see where this one goes. 
Okay, yeah, look at that. Okay, yeah, we've got an open English, even with the G3 pointers. You see that? Okay. Is he still alive? Not surprisingly, any movie with Robert Downey Jr. getting a big thumbs up passing grade from me. Seems to me like they're playing in English, which also makes sense because they are English. The eyes. The eyes are wrong. I'm not going to get emotionally invested in what happens in this scene. He could be wearing glasses. I'm not going to do it. The color. In which case, his eyes will be hurting. René is left handed. What are they the doing? will take measures to ensure he doesn't give himself away. Like ah, they're looking for a bad guy. Help. Subtleties. Okay, okay. I think it might be him. You think? Your clock is ticking. You have to be sure. Indeed. May I remind you this is Blitz Chess? A single miscalculation will cost you the game. Good chess. I mean, that's, that's great that's chess dialogue, and it's true. I could start a war. Maybe it's less obvious. All right, team. I'm invested. We have to stay to the end. I want to see the bad guy. Yes. I expect everyone has a reason to be nervous tonight. What happened to Robert Downey earlier in the movie for him to get that black eye? I don't know. Okay. Watson, as usual, the real hero. So perhaps it's the opposite. A failure to behave naturally. An actor so consumed with his performance that the one characteristic he cannot accommodate is spontaneous reaction. Oh! Ho, ho. Okay, now we're gonna find out who jumped. Aha! <laughs> oh, John Watson's first rodeo, I'll tell you that much. Okay. The guard drops. You know one of those weird twist endings where he's not the bad guy? Oh no, look at that hair. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Okay, he's the bad guy. Okay. Oh, Watson. Now, if, if I was judging the action scene, I would give this two big thumbs up. Okay, that was intense. Had me on the edge of my seat. I haven't seen. I, I stopped watching earlier when I was supposed to be preparing for this. And, you know, that guy's going to hair school. I'll tell you that much. He needs to take a look in the mirror. But big thumbs up as far as the chess goes. Thank you, Robert Downey Jr. I miss you as Iron Man. Chess scene from The Blacklist. We share a number of interests, among them the protection of endangered animals. I act as a bundler for his charities. And what does he do in return? Nothing nefarious, I assure you. Advice, information, the occasional stock tip. One What's hand about James Spader? You just other. never believe him. There we go. Queen to B4, check. Check. Okay, nope. Your name is Judy Trierweiler. You're an activist, <laughs> investigative <laughs> reporter, <laughs> research and Oh, LOL. That's why you never believe James Spader. He just sounds like he's lying. Actually, okay, I can't stop thinking about this Blacklist one. Let's back up to that. Yeah, turns out Mr. Spader was correct. If Queen B4 check is played, the trade that happens after Bishop E1 takes is a skewer the rook on f8. Turns out, maybe Ultron was right all along. James Spader wins. We're giving the blacklist a thumbs up. That's it. We've shown you all the movies we could think of and given you that chess movie scene breakdown. Did we miss one? Leave a comment down below to let us know if a movie you either like or dislike didn't quite get the love it deserves. Otherwise, a subscribe, a like, a share would be greatly appreciated, and we'll see you over on chess.com.